Well, I guess this is how we're starting the video. Sticky a second ticket. Morning, sir. Hi, Sergeant Roberts. Please, 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 please. Hi. Reason why it's not having 160 today, 35. Reason why you're traveling so fast. No, sir. Sorry. Press that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me just say, this guy is an OG for real. He caught me at 25 over and he gave me a ticket for just not obeying traffic sign. Hey, looks like we're in the right place. Well, 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 looks like we're here. How do we get in? Look at this. It's gonna be a good day today, boys. What a beautiful day. So we're starting off the video here in Edgewater, Florida. For is this a championship race? Englewood, Florida. In Englewood. Englewood, Florida. Is this a championship race? World championship for OPA and APBA. This is an APBA OPA World okay. Championship. There's different sanctioning bodies for racing and uh this happens to be just like the same we just did last week in Key West, but just for a different organization. So. Eventually, eventually you'll see a neon people. Yeah, yeah. Check me is too low, too much of a low bar. I was thinking about it. I mean, Hey guys, it's 9.30 in the morning and it's time to go racing. Everybody's prepping up and getting ready to go to the, the crane to put the boat in the waters. So like the last video, we're going to be hanging out today with Rolling Dirty Offshore. They fixed the little fire issue and they're ready to race. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, go watch it. It's a banger. This boat had a fire. Alright guys, so I'm going to be putting the camera inside the boat. This is how the interior looks. Quick little walk around. It's race day. And this is how she looks. Alright. So I'm going to be putting this camera... Clyde doing his thing. All right, camera's a little dirty. <laughs> Here we go. If you guys are not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the like button, please. Thank you. 
So how many guys do you have racing with you today? Uh, there's five in our class. Five? Yep, five in our oh. class. Five total before plus out. Nice. He left me. My ride is leaving me. <laughs> Without you, I can't get back in. Oh. <laughs> So we're at the beach watching the race, and I'm sh and we're showing everybody Yami's wiener. First and second place votes. Third place. Yami has a wiener, guys, and her name is Tequila. She's watching the race with us. So right now the small 22-foot outboard boats are running, and we're gonna wait for Clyde to come out in the next race. But uh, they, they certainly can't load up at this point. No, they can't start in this race. And I did get pulled position, so I apologize. I won't be able to see those two guys. And you won't be able to see really the position down here. But they will line up line. 11 votes here in class 7. And one of their first race of 2022. Hopefully they'll be able to see the position. And hard to see the checkered flag one here.
NBA racing? I would say the dynasty, but they're definitely becoming big guys. I mean, when they started years ago, they took this land grab and racing in class three. This used to be the AMF boat, and uh, it was an ill handling boat. I brought a couple times. They put a lot of time and effort in. Really did a great right, guys, job. The race just started. Here we go, guys. The race just started. Here. Let's see what the first runner up is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Coming in third place. There it is, there's the flag. Good job guys. That's it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished speaking with the owner and I was so amazed by the paint job I forgot to ask him what what, what is in this for power. But this paint job cost 250,000 it took him nine months and one guy is the, that did this look at this look at the details the details in this man you don't see this
<laughs> Amazing. Amazing, man. Can I see what you have for power in it? Got 2,100 sterlings. Okay. We've been clocked at 160 miles down. Nice. And it's an MTI haul? Yeah, 44 MTI. Nice. Three fifty. Yeah, white canopy boat. Yeah, he's supposed to be here. I don't know where's that old. Good job, guys! I don't know I don't know if that's normal but that boat has a lot of water spilling out of it right there looks like they forgot to put in the drain plug or something Looking good? Yeah, we almost got stuck in it. She's going back on the trailer, she's not broken. It was a good day. We're gonna play tomorrow now, too. Yeah. You know, it's not always who's the best, it's all that. It's uh, when you have a two day race or a three day race over a week or a weekend, you know, you go out there, win, win the first day, tear up equipment. 
can't race the second day. The second day is usually double points. So you're not gonna. Yeah, you still got you gotta, one more you gotta, day. You gotta live the fight, you know. Or you gotta, you know, maintain your equipment, keep it alive. We could have went a lot faster, but also could have tore up parts, you know. <laughs> on a race boat, not people. I just got a text from race control. I uh, said weather inbound. If we, if worse, we'll go storm mode and shorten the course. Not sure how that would work, but I mean, it's I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're detecting lightning somewhere, right? I don't have it yet on my own. Uh, no, I'm like see uh, visibility. That's the way I'm going. You can see from our vantage point how much, the, how quickly the visibility can go away. Um, you yeah, know, we can see that first, that last turn there pretty clearly. Obviously, that's a little bit more hard to see, so that's what they've got to worry about. And the next storm to our southwest, which is moving away from us, the problem is a storm that's just now south of North Port. Okay, Mike, that's the storm that we we'll probably have here. to have our eye on over the next 10 minutes. All right, that's pushing up our way. Well, it goes into the corner and uh, kind of missed Johnny's return. Look who's back up and down there. They showed him a 43 sweet beans. So they slowed earlier. Not sure what happened to them. DF Young as they headed towards the Oh no! Oh no! The preserve has slowed tremendously on the back straight behind DF Young. Uh, big rooster tail is up. Now they look like they're trying to accelerate a little bit, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, that looked like it was going to be the race of the day. Uh, I sure did. I mean, Brent, it's starting to rain hard enough where it's hard for me to tell what boats are what now. Yeah, it is.
tonight so we're gonna stay for that then we're going back to Miami it ain't easy trying to get these vlogs for you guys so make sure you like the video all right because look how we have our baby now she's nice and dry but <laughs> she's out cuddly all right so I don't know what's next on this video hope you guys enjoy it though you know, it's definitely been a, a really good experience. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you for inviting me or inviting us. Yeah, me and I and our baby. <laughs> <sighs> Whew.